One giant tank versus samurai, or a Japanese military from like 500 years ago. Who would win? Someone went back to the past and dropped off a 1900s tank inside of a December wintry Japan, I guess. I don't know what the hell that one is doing out on the end there. I feel like I'm about to file a restraining order against that one. Versus a very intricate and sophisticated Japanese military, which they have all sorts of different units, all shapes and sizes, I guess. They've got their melee units, of course, but they also have some range some ninja throwing stars and of course their commanders back here that's gonna be hard to take down and it's starting off immediately there was no wait okay well don't probably use the bridge I would say use the bridge next time tank that was so fast round two and I'm gonna make sure they take it a little bit slower this time I think the tank person whoever got sent here to the past to drive the tank might have a problem with their vision because clearly they don't know there you go buddy you got this now the problem is that little move that they did there it's gonna kind of cost them a bit they're eating those arrows just left and right Right. Oh boy, watch out. Watch out for the tornado that's forming in the background. Tornado versus tank. I didn't think that was going to be a part of this. These three units still going strong. It looks like everything's fine. Oh, and they're using the barrel of the tank to wipe people out. There you go. Just run them over. You don't even need to really fire at this point. Just smash them. Red victory again, but just barely, honestly. Let's keep it a bit more balanced with only melee units on this side. And then we have the commander in the back. Once again, right away, the tank immediately fires a huge bullet. And that guy is going to the Shadow Realm. We'll never see him again immediately like five of them are already gone within the first second luckily big bad commander is back here and he's wielding his blade he just got to get close enough watch out he's going in for the strike i don't even know where you would begin where do you begin the strike oh in the tracks that's actually a really good idea did all of these people just seppuku themselves immediately they've already stuck the blade inside of their stomach that's pretty much what this guy's doing wait a second they might get lucky though the tank might fall in the river no way nope nope it's good it's good it is a tank man that one samurai just ate a huge Huge shot to the face. Oh, that was the commander too. He's all right. He's gonna be okay. Luckily, the rough terrain is giving the tank a little bit of issues here, so maybe there's a chance. All you gotta do is like throw your sword at this guy. He's got a long neck too. He's just asking to get decapitated. It looks like everything is gonna be fine for the tank because he's just moving so fast. Oh, and that guy did. He just basically got rammed in the head and he was done. So when the Japanese only have melee units, they definitely get oofed. For this next one, we have an old Viking army right here in this like Viking Colosseum. I think they're mostly melee, but they might have a little bit of range versus pure range. We've got the Gaddy. Three Gatlin guns. I don't know what I would want more. Three Gatlin guns or just one massive tank. I guess if one of my guys was looking like this, I would definitely take the tank. What are you doing? There's no twerking in the Viking world. Now the problem is all of the range, all this space that I put in between them, they're going to be able to just crank that thing by the time they get somewhat close. You know what? They're not striking yet. They're actually moving their weapons close and now they're going to start to wind up. Maybe they were too far a little bit. Oh, this is going to be bad. Once it gets going, the middle one's not firing yet, but oh, all right. Yeah, that was, uh, oh, oh, someone's trying. Someone tried a little bit. They hurled their body over. This is not cool. All right, let's see if they can take down the big one, though. The big one might be a nice distraction. They got one. Yeah, you know what? If they don't group together, they'd be a lot better off. There are some arrow dudes in the back firing a little bit. This is actually way closer than I thought it was going to be. Two are still alive, but now they're going to start to aim at those archers. Oh, the archers didn't have a chance. That was actually a lot closer than I thought. Now, this will give the Gatling guns a lot of trouble. Some range units hidden away on the wall. Unless, of course, they just kind of throw themselves off the cliff. That's totally possible in this game. So they can, like, slightly observe, but then step in when they think things have gone too far. But, of course, that's going to mean that things need to be a little bit more even. And I would definitely say it's a bit more even now. Once again, the Gatling guns don't want to fire from too far away. They're taking steps up, which, I mean, I guess they have the confidence they can take out, like, dumb Vikings that want to battle against them like this. The Vikings don't even care if they get oof, though. They're just trying to fight for Valhalla. Kind of want to die if you really think about it. It's, like, the worst type of enemy to fight. Also, we've got some long ships back here and some uh actually somebody that probably came from Valhalla or Valheim I don't know my Norse mythology is shit uh something really horrible has happened to all the arches that I set up right here what the hell what did they just freeze immediately or did they fall oh I think they all fell yeah they don't like to be on cliffs so there's not going to be any flank definitely happening here it's going to all take place right in front of them like this any advantage the Vikings might have had it's definitely over now I really don't think this is the best strategy to be using um Norway or Sweden whoever you are two dudes carrying a boat that's put inside three dudes. I wonder if these guys are still going to be able to attack after their boat falls. They are not stopping. Look how many... Oh, this is not good. See, once you get them going... Damn, they didn't even get close this time. Luckily, these guys are eating a lot of shots. They are literally the bullet shields, but they can't even get close enough because they keep getting pushed back. Maybe the icy ground, too, doesn't help at all. Seems like a terrible place to bring a Gatlin gun, just like an icy tundra. Wow, I don't even know if one... Did even... Did they lose one? 
they lost one. I don't even know how this guy, what happened to this guy? He just flipped it upside down accidentally, I think. As for this next one, we have pirates fighting the only thing they know how to fight, and that is giant skeleton creatures. This is like a pirate's wet dream right here. But these are not just any pirates, they are pirates with Blackbeard, one of the most epic pirates of all time. I don't know if you knew about this, but historically speaking, Blackbeard had two massive anchors for arms. But they're gonna have a lot of range and a lot of bombs, they even have a little cannon up here that's gonna protect them a bit. And the skeletons are really just gonna have to go with that Soviet strategy, just hoping meat shields eat up most of this so their range units back this way can get the dub. I would not leave the ship. I would definitely advise both you guys don't leave the ship. A cannon has been fired immediately and it's been on the smallest target and you missed. I can't think of anything worse. Who's gonna draw first blood first because it looks like somebody, oh, they missed this guy. Try to aim at his feet. There's the harpooner. Now how exactly could the har- Oh, you just blew up your own dude! That's actually genius! You made this guy go kamikaze to take down the giant. Uh, the giant is not taken down though. He's doing fine. Why is there this random gun just flying through the air? Like, what? Did you throw that at him? Maybe he ran out of ammo. He's just like, you know what? Screw it. Ugh. Yeah, bro, you're gonna want to get back on your side. What? What's going on? He's just casually walking as if nothing's going on here. Oh, wait, that's a skeleton, isn't it? That's an enemy. Okay, he's just riding this guy. Yeah, you're gonna want to maybe decapitate him, possibly. Did you take out any giants at all yet? You've taken out the smaller creatures, but the giants look all still there. This feels like a weird Caribbean version of Attack on Titan. Bam, look at that shotgun right in the rib cage. Look at that. Let's see what Blackbeard can do with his two anchors, because I think he just got 1k his kd ratio doing pretty good so far yeah the the skeletons are trying their best to make it up oh they did it the cannon's still around did you take out the ink oh where are the rocks coming from? You took out your own captain. Wow, these harpooners are actually helping a lot, making sure the giants can't get too far away. This dude is going nuts. Is he still alive? His body was just ragdolling for a second there. There are two giants left. You still got your cannon. You could probably do a lot of damage if if you can aim. If you if you didn't if you stop doing whatever you're doing with your arm. Bam! One giant death. There's actually no giants left. It's just Blackbeard versus these small skeleton archers. But I don't. Oh, that's not even Blackbeard. That's like this queen uh, pirate queen. Oh, she's already gone too. This is not good because he's. He's taking some damage. He's got armor though. Oh, damn. Oh, he's still around. He's still around. And there's still cannon back there. You got this? Don't just stand there, bro. So every time he shoots, he possibly... Oh my god, the cannon just fell in the water. Is that it for him? He's done. He didn't even want to be... Oh, no, maybe he's okay. Oh, there's actually a guy hidden down here that's uh, dancing. I think he's dancing. Boom. You got this, bro. Oh, he has to reload for a little bit. That's right. Pirate victory, baby. So I have filled this ship out with nothing but a massive horde of pirates. They have seen some of the roughest seas of all time. I don't even know what the hell that's supposed to mean, but uh, I was just trying to hype them up a bit. Because they're going to need it. We're going deep into that attack on Titan lore. They're fighting only giants. Skeleton giants, tree giants, samurai giants, and in the back, a big old yeti, basically. It's like an ice giant. So immediately, they're going to need to start firing every single range that they have. I don't know if this is a good idea for these two to... Did you just like blow up your own dudes? Yeah, classic pirate move there. Maybe they were hoarding some booty. Oh yeah, that's right. These guys are gonna explode. So maybe they can, bam, got him in the leg. If you could do some damage right in the very beginning with some kamikaze tactics, that's gonna help. Now hopefully this guy's la body lands somewhere on someone's head. Two birds, one stone. Don't leave the ship, bros. Don't leave the ship. Stay up there. A lot of these guys are gonna take some fall damage coming down the ramp. They're just choosing to walk the plank. All right, the, uh, the ice guy is actually, I think, doing the most damage because he's just freezing everybody. Do you guys even have a chance here? Why don't know why you left. They're not gonna be able to make it up the ship though, I think. Well, maybe, okay, the tree guy can, because he's got the power of wood in his hands. He understands the architecture. Are you guys fighting each other? Oh, there's a guy that's, who is back here? Is that Blackbeard? This tree is fighting, is there, I was really thinking a, a giant decided to like revolt against the other giants. For a second there, that's what was going on. Wow, this was pretty pathetic. The last two that got taken out and he's, he, I don't know where he's going to. It's the wild west and the town has decided to come together bringing all their weapons and every single man, woman, child, possibly. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. And by two of us, I actually mean Velociraptors. Velociraptors have invaded this old town, probably in Texas. They've been brought back from the dead for some reason, and now they're gonna eat everyone that they see. This actually seems like the plot of a movie. I feel like they're gonna do this one day. Didn't they do cowboys versus aliens? Why not cowboys versus dinosaurs? Now, the raptors aren't gonna have a whole lot of moves here. They need to just run and eat. They're just giant lizards. Lizards. Although, why don't these lizards have feathers? Then we confirm that they're giant, like, bird-like creatures. So they haven't lost anything too... Okay, that horse just ran into their own dudes, but that's fine. There you go. Just throw a bunch of dynamite in the air. That's actually going to be a great idea, because they're all so packed in together. There's going to be a bit of friendly fire, though. That's going to be the problem. Boom! Head button. 
every day. Oh man, this flank right here easily went through. Although the bodies are starting to stack up, that's causing it some issues for the ones in the back. What happened to you, bro? Damn, did you even try? I'm kind of actually feeling sad for the Velociraptors. I never thought about that. Damn, I'm team Velociraptor here. This is depressing. They're all depressed as they lay. Oh, that's, oh. These are some bank robbers that I think are just happen to be passing on through. They were like taking advantage of the situation as the whole town was battling. They were just gonna try to get some booty. They're not pirates, so I don't know why I said booty. The Velociraptors stood no chance right there. That was even with friendly fire from the townsfolk. But you know what? The townsfolk didn't expect people to actually be on the raptors side this would definitely be me right here not this one in particular but well maybe i don't know but i'd be on the raptors side and i would be doing this uh ancient raptor dance maybe this is how they did it this was the mating dance to get the raptors to be cool with them riding on them so once again this first part is probably going to get obliterated but by the time the reinforcements arrive there may, might be a chance, maybe. It's gonna be pretty spread out. Yeah, the issue is that all these dynamite guys get to just load up. So unless these guys get pretty lucky. Oh, watch the axe to the, to the tail. Axe to the tail. Also, why is it raining bullets? How, how are they raining bullets down like that? All right, so they are getting the first line. But the second line is a little bit harder because these guys have all the range back this way. So they're gonna try to avoid all the bodies. They're gonna go around separately. They got a shield, so maybe they can protect themselves. The goal is the raptors need to get some of this cash if they stop the robbers. Hey, man, raptors trying to improve their 401k. All right, uh, the, the humans riding the raptors clearly don't understand, like, angles, geometry. Oh, they're throwing the money! Show me the money! Get that bread! Oh, wait, is this gonna blow up? Oh, it's gonna open open up full of cash and uh oh, oh that's smart all right well they are making it rain and this man is having a blast with that all right boom he's gonna stab at least one miner so that's nice uh, miner not a kid i mean well maybe he's a kid i don't know maybe the town got desperate who knows they're still going they're still going oh i thought this guy was gonna be able to fight on his feet yeah they still kind of got away with that pretty easy all right so the wild west can easily destroy dinosaurs we've learned something new we have a clash of eras the renaissance era with some painters some musket men i don't know throwing a guillotine guy for some reason versus some ancient Egyptians. We've got pharaohs all mummified that are back from their pyramid tombs as well as some uh, chariot people, chariot archers. Those are like Romans kind of, but you know, like Egyptians also had chariots. It doesn't matter. Here we go. Horses versus horses. So at the ends, it looks like it's pretty, like, one-sided, but in terms of the numbers, it's it's very balanced. I made sure the whole time it's very balanced. And look, these guys are going straight through. What are the painters going to do? What's Bob Ross really going to do in this situation? I mean, he could paint him a picture and maybe have him rethink the battle, but I don't know. Oh, I don't know if I really know what these pharaohs are going to do. Are they going to bring mummies? What is that? They're also taking a little bit of friendly fire on, but that's fine. Whoa! All right, so there are balloon archers that are going to uh, make people vanish and never seen again. Oh, this is not good. Okay, so the balloon archers are helping a lot right now. Oh, if you are in the circle circle you immediately don't make it. Which one is King Tut? Where's the 14-year-old pharaoh? Actually, where's Cleopatra? That's what I'm wondering about. Yeah, a lot of range on this side, so um, that's probably why it didn't go so well. So this side needed a lot of help, and we're just gonna have a nice combined civilization effort. We've got, like, Greeks right here. Some Hoplites, obviously, we talked these are, like, Romans. More Romans. The Egyptians. And then back here, we're gonna use some Norse, even some mythology. Zeus, he makes sense. However, Thor makes no sense. I don't know why he's here. Random Norse god, just gonna help out these Greek, Roman, and Egyptian but whatever. All right, Bob Ross, you got this. Now, this is definitely not even, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we're just going to kind of see what happens because they got blown out last time. Uh, these pharaohs are super OP. Actually, we don't need these many pharaohs. What are the mythology people doing? So Thor is just going in there and he's throwing the hammer around. doesn't care about anything else. The lightning strike comes eventually. How is this guy still around? His horse is gone. He's still doing great stuff. Oh, the musket men in the back are going to be the toughest part. Oh, there, there, there they went. Bam! That wasn't even a question. Although, they did lose some people. Zeus and Thor are still around, though. That was probably made the difference. A little reenactment between Poland and Germany in the 1940s. Tanks versus horses. Kind of some winged hussars. Just imagine the wings are there. They're spread out, so that might help a lot. I actually, at first, initially, just, like, lined them up in a row. That would have been a terrible idea. It's just gonna be a straightforward battle, but I know that the cavalry will get there, but what do you do when you get there? I guess just try to stab these foos. All right, so the tanks, they're not scared at all. Boom! Two tanks took out one horse. Probably not the best strategy. You should have organized that a bit better. Now, how long does it take to reload these guys? Oh, yeah, this horse doesn't want any of that. He just saw what happened to his best friend. He's like, no, nah, I'm good. Oh, in the chest, the barrel in the chest. Oh, you can just do that. You just ride up the tank and then knock a bunch of them off. It's that simple. So that guy only has one crewmate left. Oh, they two tanks only have one crewmate left. Ooh, I don't think that a horse's head is supposed to do that. Boom, this guy got yeeted and there's just one fully activated tank. Boom, put the barrel 
up the horse should work out just fire i think they aren't able to fire fast enough this also might not be a big enough map for the tanks to have the most ideal situation don't go into the water is it just me or does anyone else think the tanks aren't gonna do well in the water some tanks but i don't know about these ones oh this poor guy he's surrounded by four cavalry what are you really gonna do in this situation i guess they're just gonna swing around for an oh they're actually doing fine well these guys went in the water and then they didn't make it but you know what all they needed was one let's include a lot more and spread out that map a little bit there's gonna be a lot of room to work with and there's a bit more horses this time but there's also more tanks there's five tanks you know what screw it take all the horses you can get all the horses in this game the chariots and the lasso guys from the wild west it's horses versus machinery horses be like they took our gerbs to like you know mechanical vehicles in general not just tanks so this is going out real fast now the horses are luckily pretty spread out and they're only going to be able to man the plan for the tanks is literally to just do like a drive-by and run on in there and the horses i guess oh damn blown up there's only one left there's only one left in a but damn that was easier there's actually a lot left you know what time it is though we're bringing in the gaddies we're gonna bring in the gaddies for a little bit of support they're gonna be back here again they took horses jobs. I don't know why horses thought they could be gaddies versus the same thing. Let's see if they got it. So the Gatlin guns are going to be kind of in the back while these guys rush straight in. Now we know that they're not going to do well in here, but with these guys in the back. Oh yeah. See, that's, that's not even fair. And then you could just like, grrr, oh yeah, this is super one-sided. These guys are powerful. And when they get going, you're not even going to be able to, why don't they don't have to stop to reload? They should have to reload. Red side's bringing in some reinforcements. I'm going to bring in anything that gets rid on. <laughs> now the raptors are back to help out the horses. Also forgot to use a couple jousters in the last one. And finally, the mammoths aren't ridden on but they would have probably been ridden on so i'm thinking they're going to be on the side of the horses this is going to be tough i don't know if you want to take that on the tank's job is literally just to cause like the most chaos in the very middle and then hope your guys in the outside do enough damage while they're all like stacked up on top of each other bam so they're coming in hot immediately but the mammoths are going to be the reinforcements at the very end so even if things don't go well for the red side right now they know they got a little safety part and oh there you go the don't even worry about the tanks don't even worry where what even happened to this one that doesn't even look like anything i don't know what that is boom that's just one horse he's not even being ridden on you know this is personal that's how you know and that guy oh oh, oh i thought this guy was being used without even a human too i was gonna say this is equipment versus animals at this point wow there's still four left. They only took out five. It's really up to the mammoths at this point. Those mammoths are going to be hard to take down. Thing is, if they can't get close enough, it doesn't even matter. And yeah, they're not going to be able to get close enough. Four is enough. These things are OP. Whoa, wait. There seems to be a little bit of backup in the back. I don't know what this guy's doing. Oh, wow. These guys just, they didn't even fall over. What happened, bro? What what is going on? Yeah, that was bad. They're bringing in everything this time. I even have the red side doing cannons. Uh, I don't know why cannons would be helping out the horses, but don't worry. We've got two types of cannons. Pirates on this side. It's basically just like older units now versus like the modern stuff. Oof, that guy. Oh my God. And we just went right by that guy. I can barely even tell what is going on. If they, you know, if they had a little bit of organization here, this would probably go way better. There are six gaddies. I thought there was only five. So last time they took out a couple this raptor's got no chance he's trying he's trying but if they can't make any movement that's the problem okay there you go there you go the cannons are really gonna have to be the savior thing if the cannons don't do anything well at least at least they're distracting so the mammoths get closer oh but it doesn't even matter dude two op nerf nerf them guys you got we gotta nerf them i can't believe this okay i just need to see something happen here i'm gonna give them the most powerful units in this game a dark peasant and like a super boxer. These are from like the old units. What is this? Like a light peasant something? Angel? Wizard something? A Thor for good measure. There you go. There you go. That's what you need. Some immediate... What the... Whoa! Oh. Oh, that's way too OP. Hold up. All right, let's go ahead and try that again. And uh, right away, horse gets its face blown off. So back to normal. So there's still powerful units over there. They just don't have that thing that takes out everything. Oh, the dark peasant is still going to take out everything. It just needs to be close enough. Oh, see, that's what we needed. Once you have the Gatling guns turn around and look at something else, it's over. The problem is they're like all facing forward. So they can all just be like mow everything down let me know down below if you have a battle on mind for me to do next time if we want to do like some old you vs drew that's for like the old classic fans i used to do this thing where people would put their military in the comments and then i would choose these comments put them in the game i try to find a way to beat them without going over the score we'll see how this video does obviously most of the time i would lose as always big thanks to the patrons i'm about a nut zephy thick boy 3000 the glenn council bowling like stalling stormtrooper 501 scotty from marketing patrick c palantino 1013 manny manny 74 mac m203 brush luxenberg love Fusion Wolf, Epi Nick, Elijah Senpai, Dalton D, Arian After Hours, Annie Keith, and Aaron F.